Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing very fine. Today we will talk about how to get a job as a fresher in pharmacovigilance. So pharmacovigilance is internal part of the clinical research where there is activities and science related to monitoring, detection, assessment and prevention of adverse drug event. So basically the medicines during uh, clinical trials investigation or even after the post marketing surveillance means the drug is already marketed if there is any adverse event happening with the patient so all the activities that all the documentation and information collected and uh, that have to be properly researched whether this uh, adverse event is only because of that particular drug or any other factors that all activities considered under pharmacovigilance so pharmacovigilance professionals are basically called as drug safety associate drug safety training drug safety officer so uh, the companies which are giving the jobs in the pharmacovigilance are all the pharma manufacturing companies also giving and some CRO contract research organization where clinical research operations is going on and some healthcare IT companies where they hire the project related to only pharmacovigilance. So these are the companies which are actively looking for uh, hiring in the pharmacovigilance. So uh, what are those companies? I, we already uh, do one video of the companies which are hiring for pharmacovigilance. This I button you will get all information. You can check those videos as well. So uh, the first step for getting job in the pharmacovigilance is first you should be eligible for this job. So who are eligible? Basically all life science students that that is even bsc msc b pharmacy m pharmacy pharma d student and even medical science students these students are eligible for pharmacovigilance job and next is before applying for the job you must need to know about the pharmacovigilance so what is pharmacovigilance then the job description what is the role and responsibilities of the pharmacovigilance and again like various information related to the that departments working in the pharmacovigilance so pharmacovigilance has various departments the first itself is a medical information contact center where you have to connect with the various healthcare professional it is a like a bpo job okay if any adverse event happening there is a company medical information center where they the anyone can call whether it is healthcare professional or patient and uh, ask or uh, share the information related to the uh, adverse drug event okay or any information related to the adverse drug event what is happening what are the updates they can also ask say and again next is case processing where the all uh, the information of the case particular adverse event is collected you can call it as individual case safety report okay icsr department then there are aggregate reporting then there is a signal detection then pharmacovigilance quality assurance department and lots of other departments are also so uh, there are again like departments are more but at the entry level mostly this is the icsr is the department that case processing is firstly given to any, any student so before applying for job you must have knowledge about pharmacovigilance what is pharmacovigilance types of the pharmacovigilance then what is adverse drug reaction adverse drug event then current trends in the pharmacovigilance that is which drugs are banned from india and why they are banned even history of the pharmacovigilance and again there are lots of terminologies in the pharmacovigilance like off-label use like re-challenge like de-challenge spontaneous reporting okay and even like what is susar what is a pader or uh, what is made watch okay what is udra vigilance what is yellow card these information you must have knowledge so if you don't have information about the pharmacovigilance you wish to learn so we are already created one free course there are three different modules as well you can like click on this i button or in the description i provided the link you can watch all this video where you will get information about basic pharmacovigilance next thing is getting skilled about the pharmacovigilance so what skills are needed in the pharmacovigilance first is a writing skill it is a narrative writing is there mostly involved in the pharmacovigilance so this is a chronological sequence of any particular case because patient reported to uh, like healthcare professional or the company about the adverse event and it is a random information okay it is not a segregated and properly sequenced so any like uh, uh, the drug safety trainee has a responsibility to properly create in a chronological order and it is called as narrative writing 
then you must have like information about like how to communicate okay because as i uh, tell you that micc is the department where you connect with the healthcare professional mostly it is from the us uk okay so you have that information like you need to have a proper listening skill as well what they told what they asked and accordingly you have to communicate okay presentation skill you have to present your project you have to project your all the information to your seniors as well okay so these are the prior skill and even microsoft office knowledge ms word excel and powerpoint this is needed okay not any technical additional knowledge required no any technical uh, like course like like don't need to go for the java python like there is no any technical information here yes we are using here database softwares that is argus aris g likewise but uh, company will give you proper training prior training before uh, like on roll of the job okay so you don't need to worry about it but you must have knowledge about the what are the tabs like patient tab then product tab then uh, event tab so that that kind of the tabs uh, there in the softwares now you got information about the knowledge the skills required then next is you should be present in the that particular portal where the company looking for the candidates so what are those portal first is nokri then indeed shine monster okay uh, that kind of the portals and again linkedin is also very important so you uh, don't only present on those sites you have to actively present it means you should be there and uh, do the in uh, regularly like at least a week uh, uh, every day one hour should be there and weekly at least 3 to 4 days should be there okay. uh, once you upload your all the profile information in the uh, that websites and uh, you don't uh, edit or anything that that profile should be dead that that can be recognized by a recruiter most of the time but if you are actively searching and looking for the job are the tags related or relevant to your job search like pharmacovigilant drug safety okay uh, yeah uh, that uh, drug safety officer okay uh, even individual case safety report so likewise the tags you you added that definitely those kind of the uh, jobs reaches to you okay so that is how you have to update and the before all of this you should be update your resume so the in the resume you should add some information related to the job description because it should matches and again in the application tracking system is there in the most of the organizations or even job providing sites as well so that uh, that tabs will definitely help you that you can say keywords which help you to like uh, shortlist your resume mostly if you gone through any webinar or any certification course that will be again helpful so you can add more information related to it your knowledge about the basic terminologies your knowledge about narrative writing metra coding basic terminologies in the pharmacovigilance like in even causality assessment like everything you can write if you know then you can write otherwise you can learn and write that will be again better so the next thing is you should be there in the linkedin and in the linkedin you can again build a network okay so once you build the network you uh, that you will be connected with the various professionals if you connected with the various professionals that will be easy to find out the jobs as well even if you can ask for the referral as well okay so this is the uh, basic uh, uh, guidelines even you can ask to your seniors as well connect with the groups which are providing the job like a telegram whatsapp group even company has its own telegram groups as well so you can join there even you should share your resumes to the career portal of various organizations okay uh, like tcs like iqa like cognizant like accenture like fortria and like paraxel so these are the top organizations which are providing jobs in the pharmacovigilance you can again like a, a present in their career portal so that the, your resume should be there in the database there are different types of the interviews once you come to know about the interview check whether it is walk in interview or scheduled interview like in person interview face to face interview so accordingly you have to prepare so walk in interview there are multiple rounds may be there depending on the candidates like aptitude test is there or uh, like group discussion is there then uh, hr questions and technical round questions and even the face to face interview hr and technical should be must okay so in the technical round they will ask about the all the pharmacovigilance information and if you don't know about the interview questions we will made the video for the same but still if we have a video in hindi language you can check in the i button or description we will provide you and again in the hr question they will analyze your like vision your like uh, skills 
whether you are seriously looking for the jobs and what are your backgrounds like uh, what are your knowledge is related to it and uh, accordingly they will ask the questions got it so even you can check some websites like india mix okay where you can check information related to hr question aptitude test there are sample questions as well you can prepare for some and if you are applying for like cognizant tcs you can go for that like various tests are there cognizant has sample test available in the website and even tcs has nqd test what are those that is depending on the uh, aptitude so you can check on web or uh, also connected with any uh, your friends who already given those interviews so you will get to know about prior information and don't forget to check all information related to the company before applying for that company okay so they know about why you are applying for our job what you know about the organization you must have knowledge about it as well so that's it from uh, this uh, video and i hope these all the points you already connected uh, but basically pharmacovigilance is a good job for the people who have knowledge about or who are interested about drugs mechanism of action and related activities because it is old soul and soul working on the drugs itself okay so if you are interested then you can go and you learn update yourself make eligible for this first and update yourself and know the knowledge about it if you want to learn more about the pharmacovigilance you can join our paid course which is 3 month online certification course in pharmacovigilance our batch will start in few days where you will get information about the domain knowledge skill development means resume preparation interview preparation how to apply for job how to communicate with the hr we will teach you and again like a placement assistance we'll also provide the opportunities in the industry so if you want to learn it that, that will be definitely ideal course for the freshers or early level experienced students in the description i will share you the details or you can call to this number for getting more information about our paid course in pharmacovigilance okay so that's it from this video i think this video definitely helpful for you to get a uh, job or to search job in the pharmacovigilance so if you like this content don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe our channel which provide various career opportunity interview preparation and courses information in pharmaceutical industry and don't forget to share this video to your colleagues and friends as well that's it from this video thank you we wish you all the best